Watch where you're going. So what's on the schedule for tomorrow? He eats them like candy, man. Probably wants a new flavor. No, I mean the lid. We put it all down on the side of a freaking ammo box. Big deal. What's he asking for this time? Everything, I think. Blow, oxy, kind of... Oh, oh shit! shit. Damn it, where's Fisher now? Heads up, guys, we've got trouble. It smells like Fisher. If you're the ghost of the UCF, you'll die a second time. This area is clear. Let's move to the next. Shit! Shit! This How we doing? We're ahead of schedule. Don't tell those guys that. Yeah, no kidding. Any idea what's in the big box? We don't know, don't care. It's expensive, it's Russian, that's all it is. So this means we're using the usual files for this run? It does all the Survival of the fittest. All I'm saying is I wouldn't want to be that guy. Oh! Screw him, we're going in now. Oh, oh shit! Where is he? Guys, where is he? He's gotta be right there, right there! The next one's in your head! Let's go! Let's go!
museum fisher <gasps> Take him down. You're gonna be dead. You hear me? Dead. Fucker. So if you wanna run, I'll give you a head start. You keep coming. I'll be waiting. And I'll take care of you the same way I take care of everyone else who fucks with me. And one more thing. Your daughter, your precious little daughter, she was a fucking whore. Show yourself, Fisher. Fisher killed one of our kids. Get a refund on those flying lessons. Thank you. 
That son of a bitch is going to come through that door, and we're going to blast him when he does. Boss, what if he comes through the window? Then you shoot him. What kind of fucking stupid question is that? You get this straight. Nobody is going anywhere until Fisher is dead. Until he shows up, all you got to do is shut up and get ready to shoot. Are we clear? Yeah, boss. I said shut up. Easy there, boss. Don't tell me this thing's getting easy. I'm ready. Are you idiots ready? I'm ready. I'm ready right now. <laughs> oh. Gravity. Still I'm not working. hearing anything. Are you hearing anything? Shit! Roger. We'll get right on that. You, uh, Anton, go check it out. See what's going on behind that door. Roger that. Keep it going, Boss, I don't... What are you waiting for? Fucking kill him! I'm gonna blow your brains out! Fuck, man. Oh, fuck, he's still there. Hold still and die! something about my daughter oh god no yeah i was just messing with you man i didn't mean it i swear i didn't mean it then make it up to me tell me why you killed her i can't tell you all you can do is kill me it was just a job they just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job. They isn't good enough. Who were you working for? I can't tell you. I'm still working for them. They'll gut me if I tell you.
They're not the ones you should be worried about right now. You don't kill it, Fisher! They're bigger than you! They're bigger than me! Don't you see? They told me you were coming! Drop it, Fisher! Drop it down! Give me you won't be hurt! Sam, we need to go with them. The hell I do. Please, you have to trust me on this one. If you're talking to the Ice Queen, Fisher, I'd advise you to listen. She knows all sorts of things you'd be interested in. What took you so fucking long? Don't move! Hands in the I air! Don't sure. let me nice and easy! Man, this is Ghost Talk 1. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. All right, Grim. You get this one. And if it's a setup... Son of a... I'll be happy when we drop off Sleeping Beauty. So will Reed. I saw his people out by his chopper ready to go. He's probably impatient. Look, Colonel Prentice, I got us here as fast as I could. Yes, you did, Oscar. Tom Reed's just not a patient man. Uh, Colonel, I don't mean to be pushy on this one, but I do need to talk to you about my pay. I was told Coburn was handling that. Well, yes, sir, but since there were these changes, you see? Extra passengers with extra gear and a longer flight plan? Tell you what, Oscar. Take it up with Colonel Reed. He'll take care of you. It was clear someone wanted to talk to Sam. That's why they went to all the trouble of setting them up at Coburn's. That's why they drank them and flew them back home. They needed him docile when they offloaded him at their private airstrip up in the Blue Ridge, because if they hadn't, he would have taken that place upon with his bare hands. He's awake. Fuel is it free, man. Colonel Prentice. Major Robertson, we don't have time to chat. Our timetable says your men need to move. Everything's operational, Director Reed. We start deployment at 900 hours this morning. Good, keep things going on your end. I'm heading back to third echelon to prep things there. Oh, our people would be just fine. Never had any doubts. Now, gentlemen, if you'll excuse us, I need a minute with Miss Grimm's daughter here. There's a loose end that needs tying off. Of course, Major. Right. Fisher's all yours, Anna. You packaged him for us in Malta, you get to unwrap him here. Find out what he knows about the EMPs, how he knows it, and why he's been hunting our friend Mr. Coven. Might take a while, Tom. He's been trained to resist interrogation. I'm authorizing you to use whatever persuaders you need, chemical or otherwise. Get the answers, and dispose of them. Just don't be as messy this time. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Anything else? Just get to it. And call me when you have something. I'll be at HQ. Listen to me. I'm working for President Caldwell as a mole inside third echelon. Reed's the new director, and he's working hand-in-hand -hand with our hosts here. A PMC called Black Arrow. They're running a pipeline for stolen Russian EMP tech through Malta. And Reed's stonewalling any kind of investigation into it. Reed's stonewalling the president. He's got serious political coverage from somewhere. And the president isn't getting anywhere through channels. We know they're in the final stages of prep for something very ugly. But what we don't know is what it is or where it's going down. Really? Then again, you seem more interested in field work these days. Stop it. I need you to do this. The second I make a move, my cover is blown. But you're on the outside now. You are free to act. I don't do this sort of thing anymore. Tell that to the men you killed in Malta. Now, if you don't make it look like you escaped and attacked me, I'm dead. So make it look good, Sam. Hit me. Do what you have to do. Grim, let me remind you, I'm out of the game. You're not out. All it took was one hint about her. Only one hint about Sarah, and you dove right back in. 
What do you know about her? 